Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22, continuing our French orchards and chickens and greenhouses map. <laughs> um, but today is harvest day for the grapes. And uh, before we can do that, we've got to get some more money, just a little bit more money. But if we're going to take a trip, we might as well take a real trip here. Uh, we want Euro pallets. And let's just go ahead and just... We're going to go ahead and take a bunch of tomatoes. They're not at a really great price, to be honest. But I would rather sell these because they're a little bit closer to the good price than the lettuce is right now. And if I'm going to take a trip up to the, uh, the market, I'm going to go ahead and grab all that I can. It's a little unfortunate. I mean, I wish we could hold on to them for a little bit longer, but you know, we'll get there. We'll get to the point where we can save these for the perfect price every year. For right now, we're just going to do what we can. All right, that's all we're going to take for now. That will do the job, and that should give us plenty of money for um, the harvester. thousand tomatoes should be about three thousand bucks a little bit more Once we get these grapes coming in, um, that'll last us a little while until... Honestly, that'll last us quite a bit. I, I think we'll be good for, for a while, and we can probably hold up on the rest of these things until the right time to sell them. At least that's the hope. Slowly but surely, I think we're making more and more money each year. Slowly but surely. Uh, it's definitely taking a little bit longer than I had hoped, maybe. But, uh, you know, it's getting there. Turns out grapes are not easy. They're, they're kind of tough to deal with. Very, very expensive up front and very expensive equipment as well. I mean, at least with cotton or, or uh, potatoes or sugar beets, the other ones that have really expensive equipment, at least they are quite a bit cheaper up front, you know? Still, it's a different, it's a change of pace. And uh, it's been kind of, kind of fun to learn a different thing. Whoa, <laughs> I'm going to flip over. Like, I haven't done that before, right? Twice, at least. All right, get you dropped off. Uh, go get our harvester. Let's not die here at the end. Or we will die at the end. Uh, it might be the belts. Really? Are you really going to be stuck now? This close to the end? I mean, some of them are getting unloaded, thankfully. But not enough. Come on. Come on. I could get enough unloaded I might actually be able to get this thing over the lip get my truck you can do it nope come on <laughs> now the truck's stuck oh come on oh my goodness you gotta be kidding me Ha, ha, ha. 
It's so bad. It's not even like hitting anything really. It's just it's just stuck up in the air because it can be. Wow. I mean, is there any way? There's not any. Why is that even there? Why is this lip even here? It makes no sense. I'm trying to get some momentum to get it to come forward. I do the dumbest things, don't I? Oh my goodness. I can't believe that this is that stuck. I mean, we've sold a few, thankfully. I mean, this is not a four-wheel drive truck, so there should be no pulling power right now. I mean, I assume it's not. There should definitely be no pulling power right now. All right, we're going to try a different different tact. <laughs> what in doubt? Try and hit it off there. Hit it as hard as you can. Come on. Can I get the truck off here now? There we go. Oh no, my potato or tomatoes are falling off. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot. I, uh, um, the dumbest things happen so many times. There we go. Got the trailer to move. Are you guys actually selling? You guys are actually selling. Sitting there on the ground. Oh, you're not gonna sell? <laughs> One little thing there is not gonna sell? Really? Yeah, of course, the one is over, laying over on the side sells, but this one, for some reason, is not going to sell. Oh, come on. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. Um, there we go. Three dollars. A whole three dollars are just sitting there. Well, we made some money. <laughs> oh, goodness. This truck is not really designed for this thing. I mean, it exists in the game, but these trucks are definitely not as good as like some of the semis and things like that for pulling stuff. Not sure. I drive too fast. But what can I say? If you let me, I'm going to do it. All right, we'll get you dropped off. Go get our harvester. And, uh, yeah, start making some more money, hopefully. All right, here we go. Crisis averted. We made it back in one piece. I mean, there was a few squished tomatoes, but what are you going to do? That's probably why they sold for less. They knew they were going to be squished. <laughs> Isn't that what you use to make uh, spaghetti sauce then? All right. Mr. Truck. Let's go get... Uh, I guess I don't need to go anywhere yet because I haven't bought it yet. Grab our harvester grape technology. 
Leash you. Oh, so expensive. All right, it's okay. Got to get it done. Alright, let's see how much grapes we get this time. Are we normally get like 600? Pull my notebook and look back a little bit because it's been, been back a few times. Um, 596, uh, but we've gotten more than that before, but 600 is, is approximately where we've had really good yield. So we'll see how much over 600 it is. I think it's going to be over 600. Don't know how much. Uh, quite a bit, actually. We're going to hit 700? I don't think quite 700. Six sixty-two. Not bad. Not bad. See if those one matches. See what? 12. Oh, 1324. Twenty-five. Yeah, so, I mean, it's pretty consistent. That's good. Be what eighteen or nah, nineteen? Nineteen something. I can't remember. <laughs> My math got off. Uh, nineteen thirty-six? No, more than that. I think we got more than that this time, or on that run, more than I was expecting. It was sixty-two, twenty-four. 80, oh no, okay, I was right. I just forgot what number we'd started with. Oh, we're not going to get there. Got distracted with math and then 
couldn't line up the thing properly. Such an interesting machine. Pretty cool. Alright, let's get you dropped off over here, my friend. I'm going to put a little skip in the video. I'll do a few more of the great runs and we'll come back when I get closer to the end. We'll be right back. All right. We're just unloading our second to last load here. We got one more set of passes to do and then we're done with the harvest for the grapes for this year. Well, let's go get it. that little screen on the right worked would make this a lot easier I'm actually surprised it doesn't. I mean, a lot of the other screens do, you know, show some things. And, of course, the rear view mirrors work, so why not make that thing be like a camera or something? It's alright. I've kind of figured out where to put it. <laughs> just from inside the cab, anyway. So... It still works, it's just like, that would be a little bit easier. Like we're on a pretty straight line now. Keep seeing those purple flowers on the ground. I'm like, oh no, we dropped some grapes. <laughs> Man, we have so little money. We need more money coming in. Or maybe put another way, 
we need more money when we're done renting the harvester because obviously that's the that is the expensive piece and because it's so everything's so expensive means we can't sell crops at the right time which means we lose out on money so it's just it's all a catch-22 and just vicious circle Last row. Honestly, if we don't have more than 2300 bucks this time next year when we harvest, I don't know, man. We might have to call it call it a series because it's just we've done the best we can is what it is we're breaking even and that's it <laughs> we may have to call it there I'm not judging this year because we, we did spend some money on some investment stuff, which I'm hoping means we have more next year, but that's what I mean. And even with the investment, we don't somehow end up with more next year, then we're definitely in a bad state. Alrighty, well there we go. Grapes are done. What do we end up with? We have twelve thousand eight hundred twenty-eight, so just a little bit shy of thirteen thousand. Um, and it is running right now, so doing its thing. Oh no, it's not. Sorry, we had to turn it off. There we go. Now it's now it's running. Yep, we'll get it done. Um what else do we need to do today? We don't really need to do anything else today. I think the chickens are okay. We'll check them real quick. I got grain, grain, grain. Yep, they're all good. Um, They're all growing. They're actually all in puberty, so none of them are reproducing right now. But that's okay as well. All right. Well, I think there's nothing else to do except fast forward to tomorrow. Well, of course, let's get rid of our <laughs> harvester so we're not paying for it tomorrow. And then a couple, was it tomorrow? Or I guess the next day we would have to do the, uh, the leaf trimming. So we got a little bit of time. And what are we looking for again? Lettuce, tomatoes is February or January. So we're a little ways away from that. Grape juice is also February as it's best. With November being the alternative. So February is our goal. Well, let's go. A few eggs. Eggs would be November. So next month would be the quote unquote best time to sell eggs. We don't have a lot of eggs though. But we'll get there. Um, grape juice starting to come out. Looks good. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're cruising along. I actually got a decent amount of grape juice in there. Water's looking good. Nothing's getting over full. All the tomatoes getting, you know, close on one of them. Uh, water on this one's a little bit low. We'll do another round of water. Or at least get some water for that one. We are negative, but it's okay to be negative. Oh, we can't be negative because we have to buy water. Hmm... Well, I mean, we'll be okay for a little bit. We can hold up with the water for now if we have to. Is there anything that's... Let's check the prices. I haven't actually checked the prices. Just in case something's actually a good price. Grape juice. Not terrible. Not quite great. 
Lettuce, pretty bad. Tomatoes, pretty bad. Eggs, not great either. Well, I guess we're not doing water until we're going to give it another month. Hopefully we can get a little bit more stuff next month to be able to uh, sell off. We're going to be obviously even more negative next month, but I just, nothing's good right now. And I don't really want to uh, sell if I can help it when it's in a bad, bad state. All right. One more month. Not getting any eggs coming out yet. I guess because they're still very young chickens at the moment. That's the one negative, I guess, of selling the chickens that they don't produce a lot of eggs. Didn't seem. Um, how are we doing on the water? Grapes are almost done. Water is pretty critical on several of them. And then let's check the prices. Eggs at a not terrible price, but we don't have that many of them. Grape juice, oh, grape juice at a pretty good price. Lettuce, not good. Tomatoes, not good. But grape juice at a pretty good price. It doesn't get much better than that. Uh, this is November, so this is the second best prices. So we were expecting, you know, some good prices. We'll take, uh, I guess we'll take a load of grape juice. Get all four of these. Oh, almost. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Give me some more. Here we go. There's eight. Should have enough for at least a full load. There we go. All right, let's get this going to the market. I'm actually going to go ahead and put a cut in there. We'll come back. I'll be probably at the market, and we'll start the next day or next episode with me selling this stuff off. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.